Hello everyone, I'll show you how to highlight muscles in CapCut PC. Let's use this video as an example. Move the playback cursor to the position of the muscle you want to highlight. Then click freeze. Copy and paste to freeze clip copies. Then go to the media library. Click background. Choose a color that highlights the muscles. Move it to the top layer. Then go to the mask. Select a shape and adjust the size and rotation as needed. Set the round corners. Add some feathering. Now, let's make a duplicate of this layer. Select both layers. Right-click Create a Compound Clip. Go to the animation. Apply fade in and fade out animation. Then go to video basic. Click blend mode. Select either overlay, soft light, or mold apply. Click on the third track clip. Go to Video Cutout. Click Auto Cutout. Click on the second track clip. Go to the Adjustment tab. Adjust the saturation to zero. Go to the curves, and let's just bump the highlight a little bit up. Then, go to the Video Basic. Move the playhead to the beginning frame. Set a keyframe on Opacity. When the highlight color appears, add another keyframe on Opacity. Go back to the first keyframe and adjust the transparency to zero. When the highlight colors start to disappear, add another keyframe on Opacity. 
Move the playhead to the end, set a keyframe on opacity, and decrease the opacity to zero. Adjust the opacity to create a fading effect. For a flicker effect, position the playhead when the animation is complete, make cuts every few frames, and delete alternate segments to create a flickering effect. Adjust the timing based on your preference. Then, select the desired elements and right-click to create a compound clip. Position the playhead at the beginning of the frame. Set keyframes for position and size on the right side. Now, advance the playhead to when the highlight is fully visible. Increase the scale slightly for the compound clip to create a zooming effect as it enters the frame. Moving on to the highlight colors start to disappear, position the playhead accordingly and set keyframes for position and size on the right side. Go to the last frame, reset the scale to 100% and adjust the position to its original state. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.